This is puzzle number 93 from Sudoku to Go, volume 141. I think this diabolical puzzle is quite interesting. Very quickly, we get to a sticking point, and it takes five techniques used together to find the next number. Then keep watching, because later on in the puzzle, we use a boutique technique, if you will, a fancy technique called identical twins. Not regular twins, but identical twins. So I'd say that this puzzle lives up to its diabolical skill level. Well, let's get started. We'll put in a few easy numbers. One. One. One right there. And you may ask, why can't a one go here? Well, we've got, after we put this one in, we've got a 5 and a 6 in this column. We have a diagonal pattern here, so if we can find a 5 and a 6 in this row, we'd have 5, 6 twins there. Well, we only have a 5, but with this corner pattern here, and this 6, we know these are ghost 6s. So 5, 6, 5, 6, these are 5, 6 twins, so that has to be where the one goes. All right, then we got eight, eight, eight. We'll fill in the easy numbers right now. All right, five, five, five there, so that's a five. Nine, nine, so nine goes there. All right, now four here, ghost fours, so four ghost fours, so that's a four. And I got a four, four, four there, so that's a four. And at this point, we're already stuck. If you want to see if you could break through at this point, go ahead and pause the, pause, pause the video and see if you can find a way to break through. Uh, I'll continue on. Now I'm going to show you five techniques that we need to use all at the same time in order to find the next number. First of all, we've got triplets here. We've got three, seven, and eight in this column. And so that means there are three, seven, eight triplets right here. One, two, nine triplets there. We can't solve any of them, but we found triplets, two sets of triplets. And by the way, these are four, six twins because of these one, two, nines, but we can't solve those either. All right. Now, with this three, seven, eights here, we've got an eight here. Uh, there's an eight there, so an eight has to go here, here, or here. And an eight goes here, um, or there's an eight in column one, so an eight has to go in one of these two, three cells. So that means um, using double row elimination, eight and eight covers these two rows. And the eight, therefore, in box five has to go here or here. That's technique number two that we use. Now let's go to technique number three. And that is we've got a 7 in column 5 in box 5, and that's because we use double column elimination here. We've got a 7 there, 7 there, and a 7 here, 7 here. Using double column elimination, we know the 7 has to go in column 5 in box 5. So we've got 8 that goes in, is constrained to row 4 here in box 5. And the 7 is constrained to column 5 in box 5. All right. Now at this point, let's look at row 6. What are we missing? 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8. Well, we've got a 7 here, 8 here. So this has to be 1, 2, 3, or 5 here. We've got a 5 there, 
and a 1 there. So that's a 2 or a 3, and that's a 1, 2, or a 3. Remember our 1, 2, 9 triplets right here. There's a 9 here, so that's a 1 or a 2. So we have 2 or 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1 or 2. We have 1, 2, 3 triplets there. Okay, that's technique number 4. So let's review the techniques that we've used so far. First of all, we found triplets here, 3, 7, 8 triplets, and 1, 2, 9 triplets. Technique number 2, we constrained the 8s to row 4 for box 5. Technique number 3, we constrained the 7s to column 5 in, row, in box 5. And then technique number 4, because of these 7-8s here, we know that's a, um, a 2 or a 3, and that's a 1, 2, or 3. Um, the 7 has to go here, the 8 has to go here, so that can't be 7 or 8, and that can't be 7 or 8. So that's one, um, 2, 3 there, 1, 2, 3 there, and 1, 2 there, because these are 1, 2, 9, so we got a 9 there. Okay, now, use, using the last technique, we're going to fill in, finally fill in a number. Threes are constrained to one of these two cells in this row. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two. These are five, seven, eight triplets. So a three can't go here, can't go here because of that three. Can't go here because that's a five or an eight of that seven. So we got two, three, one, two, three. So because threes are constrained here, that can't be a three. So with this three, we know the three has to be here or here. So we have ghost threes here, ghost threes here, and we, therefore we know that is a three. Let me wipe the sweat off my forehead there <laughs> uh, on that one. So it took five techniques to find that three right there. Okay. Now things are going to get a little bit easier, but we're still going to have to use uh, some fairly uh, interesting techniques here, including pretty soon we'll be using I uh, identical twins. I'll show you when we get to that point. All right. So uh, now because of that... Uh, three that we filled in there. We've got an eight here. We've had another corner pattern here. So with that three and eight, we know these are three eight twins and these are two six twins. So what are we missing in this column? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, five, and seven. And there's a one and a five there, so that's a seven. Now we're missing a 1 and a 5. There's a 1 there, so that's a 5. And that's a 1. All right, and remember our 5, 6 twins. I'll just put that 6 in right there. All right, and now we've got a 7 here. We've got a loner cell right there. So with that 7, we can know that's a 7 right there. And we're left with... One, two, 5, 8. 5, 8, which we can't solve yet, but we'll remember that. We've also got a 7 right here. All right. Now let's see. Ah, once we've filled in this 7, we can solve the 5, 8s because now we have three eight twins right there. These are one two nines if you remember. These are three eights because now with that seven we know the eights constrained to this row so that can't be an eight. So that's a five and that's an eight. All right and now we've got a uh, With the 3 and 8 that we're missing here, there's an 8 there, so we can fill those in. Alright, and then 
We're only missing a two there, so we'll fill that one in. All right, now let's go to box three. We've got a five here and a five here, so we know that's a five. All right, now we're only missing three and four in box one there. That can't be three, so we got ghost threes here. So that's got to be the four. So three and four. All right, now we're missing two, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, four, and nine here. Four and a nine there, so that's a two. There's a four there, so that's a nine, that's a four. And a six and a seven missing. We can solve those. All right, now we've got a seven here and a seven there so that's a seven and seven 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 so that's a seven right there all right we've got a uh, another let's see loner cell right here so we can just look at these six numbers and see which one that is we've also got everything filled in except for the the last number in this row so we could just solve that pretty easy but sometimes it's quicker to find which numbers missing in here 724 724 so that's a 4 we used the loner cell technique to, to find that and now with that 4 and that 4 we can put in a 4 right there all right now let's see we've got Um, six here, ghost six is here, so that's a six right there in box three. We're just missing three and nine there, which we can't solve yet. All right, and now let's look at these. These are the identical twins I was talking about. Identical twins are when you have all the numbers in a, in a row and in this box right here, we've only got one cell that's not populated that's not in this row. We've only got one cell that's outside of this box in this row that's not populated. And these can be what I call identical twins. That's the boutique technique I was talking about. Kind of a fancy one. All right. I know that these two numbers are the same because we've got a 47915 already in this row, and we've got a 47915 already in this box. So this cell right here and this cell have to have the same number. Let's see what number's missing here, or what numbers are missing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 and 8 are missing there, and there's a 6 here. So these are identical twins. They're the same number. That has to be a 6 or an 8, and there's a 6 there, so we know that can't be a 6. So we know these are both 8s. And so there you have identical twins. All right. Now let's see. Well, we're missing 2, 3, and 6 here. 2, 6, so that's a 3. And there's a 6, so that's a 6. So that's a 2. All right, now we're missing two, six, and nine here. Six there, so six, two, nine. Remember our two six twins there, we can solve them now. Okay, box six, we had the three eight twins, we can solve them. All right, row five is only missing a two and a nine. We got a nine there, so two and nine. And box six is missing one, one and two. These are the one, two, nines we found earlier. There's two there, so one and two. Box three is missing the three and nine. With that three, we can solve them. And uh, now we're only missing seven, eight, and nine there. Seven and eight, so that's a nine. 
8 there, so 7, 8, and we're missing 1, 3, 5. 1 and 5, so 3, 5, and 1. And we solved a pretty difficult puzzle using a fair number of techniques, including that one point where we were stuck and we had to use five techniques in order to find that uh, one number and get us unstuck. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that was interesting, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.